Hello everyone, my name is Pam Nakpil and this is the Moving Truth with Pam. So we have another episode today and my guest for today is Charmine. Do you pronounce it Charmine? Um, yes, Charmine. Charmine Duran when she came over but now she's Charmaine Matan. So let her introduce herself to you. Cha, cha, I call her playfully Cha, Charmine, yes. please. Um, hi Pam, thanks for having me here. I'm Charmaine Duran Martin. My friends would call me Cha Charm. French friends would call me Charmin. Charmin. <laughs> yes. And I'm just fine with it because yeah. my husband's French. So true, true. And yeah. we will talk about the husband later. Yeah. So when did this journey for you to move to Canada start? Like, I mean, what were you doing um, back where your home is? Tell everyone where you're from. Okay. So I come from Cebu, Philippines. Cebu, yes. okay, so it's, a, it's a nice place. It's a popular tourist destination because of our white sand beaches. Yes, I love Cebu. Yes, <laughs> but on the other hand, it's a really busy, high traffic city, and that's what I don't like about it. So you were in Cebu when they started the journey to? Yes, I was just in Cebu. Okay, and yeah. then all of a sudden, one day you woke up and thinking, okay. I'm going to Canada. So, what was the thought <laughs> process behind no, it? No, yeah. So back in Cebu, I have a job. I have a seven-year job wow, seven at Accenture. Years. It's a multinational consulting company. Um, I love it. I love my job. I love my workmates. What did you do thing. there? I was a um, um, project management office senior analyst. Wow. Okay. Yeah, it's good. It's a good job. Um, I was stable and happy. Okay. But... I don't, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, but even if I was stable and happy, I just feel like, you know, like I'm not contented. I don't feel contented on where I am in that part of the world. I feel like there's something somewhere. I need to be somewhere. Somewhere. Yes. So I, I started having that thought when I was 25 years old. And so I thought, 25, okay. Yeah. So I thought, <laughs> oh, maybe it's just a quarter, quarter life crisis, right? It's just a phase. And then. Back in 2017, when I was 30 years old, <laughs> five <laughs> years later, like I feel I really need to do something with this feeling because I'm just not contented. So why why Canada? I mean, some people like I know of Century, they're in the U.S. So why right. not the U.S.? Why not Australia near us? Why the big Canada, North, <laughs> snow, everything? <laughs> well, um, I choose Canada because I guess it's well known. Canada is very welcoming to immigrants. Oh, true. Yeah. True, true. And then high quality of living, generally safe. And I think um, most of us who come from a tropical country, we dream of seeing snow. Okay. So yeah, Canada. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we like, I, I always tell friends that uh, when they ask me about snow, uh, ask me again in five years. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still loving it, by the way, so it's okay. Yeah. So okay. Good job in the Philippines, back home with family in Cebu. Then suddenly you decide to go to Canada. How did you get in? What was your entry to the Canadian okay. market? Yeah, so the easiest way to come to Canada is via student visa process. So that's why I did, uh, I, I don't really want to study again. <laughs> After studying five years in university, I don't want to study again, but that's the easiest way to come. So I came here in a student visa in 2017. Okay. I took one year program, so I graduated oh, in one year. Yes, just okay. one year. I graduated in 2018. I was actually a valedictorian at NBCC. Monthly. Valedictorian, congratulations. Yeah. Thank we heard, you. I heard about that. So <laughs> proud to have you mm -hmm. as a valedictorian. Mm -hmm. But like, how easy or how hard was it to make the transition from earning money? To now yeah. spending money to be a student. I mean, Canadian education is expensive for international students. How totally. much did, was it like estimate? It's um so being an international student, we pay more than local. It's more than double, I think close three to three times. times. Yes. Yeah, right. So yes, having a good job, coming to Canada, no work, being a student. How was it? How did you prepare for it? Did were you prepared for the financial? No, <laughs> it was not easy. So um, I took a loan back in the Philippines. Wow. You had to take. I a loan. had to. I I don't have any financial support 
like I have my family very very supportive but not financially we don't have that so I, wish, I always <laughs> tell my husband I wish I married for money and yeah, not for love no, no I don't have that so I had to take out a personal loan wow. back in the Philippines to sustain my first um, first semester at wow. least and then I moved here I don't know anyone like totally no, no one. one yeah so how did it feel like? Like you came here, how was it looking for uh, a place to stay at, yeah. getting new friends? Like wasn't it scary for oh, you? Oh, totally. It was totally scary. Um, on my flight here, I cried in the plane. Like oh, wow. I didn't even know why I cried. I, I wanted this. <laughs> exactly, but. <laughs> but still, it was scary. But um, I rented an Airbnb for one week. Okay. And then thankfully, there's Filipino community I found in Facebook everyone was so helpful so someone picked me up um, oh, helped right. me find an apartment and then some like everyone in the community just helped so I was given a bed uh, furniture oh, yeah. it's just really anything I, that yeah. can help me build my life again that's good that's good it, yeah. it's how important community is yes. to someone coming in new so when you came here I know outside of worrying about beds and food and <laughs> transport, like, um, what did you have to take a job while studying? Oh, yeah. Yeah, so um, as an international student, we are allowed to work maximum 20 hours per week. Oh, that's 20 hours then? Yes, then. I think then, now, now it's I think unlimited. They, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so I have to find a job because, like I said, I don't have financial support. So what kind of job did so, you find? So um, first month, I was able to find a job in a pizza place as okay. a cashier or order taker. Wow, and then, Accenture. I know what Accenture yeah. is. Then how did that feel? So from an office job sitting and then being, you know, like starting from scratch, standing, taking orders. And Canadians are generally nice, but of course, there will be some exceptions. So oh. like, you know, when you are taking, um, like taking orders, they're not all, not all people are having a good day true so, yeah but like what were the things that you felt like you were faced when you were working as a cashier in a pizza place like it's it's ego mostly that will hurt oh. you yeah that's that's the truth it's an ego. ego so yeah. how did it feel did um, you feel the, like the first first week i cried because you've like, been crying i've been a crying lot. <laughs> <laughs> I, I cried because like why did I even do, want this. do this? I know. Like, I, know. I was stable back home. I had my own car, but now here I am. But you know what? Like, yeah, it's it's kind of depressing. You're I'm at my lowest, but then I have friends. I found friends here. Oh, that's They're great. like my, my family now, so I I am happy. Like they, they make my life here easy. So from working at the pizza place, what did you? work what kind of work did you progress from there so from a pizza place the first month they cannot give me the full 20 hours oh. and like i said i need money <laughs> for my tuition so um i finally found another job it's a night shift full 20 hours so friday i go to school um mondays to fridays wow and then friday night saturday night i work in a home care night shift home care yeah. how did that feel um i guess i adjusted already it was actually not like I, at least I can rest, so it's nice. You can so rest. I can rest. Like it's night, I clean, and then okay. when the residents are sleeping, then I can sit and eat. <laughs> but like thinking that office job and then cleaning, yes. it's it's hard. Yes, it's really the Total, ego, right? totally hard. But then so you have to swallow. <laughs> I know, I know. Sometimes you just have to swallow your pride. Yeah. If this what will bring money to yes. the table. Yes, it helped me. It helped me. And with that job, I, I've met my husband there. Oh, <laughs> yes. okay. That's so a, I don't want to go to the husband part <laughs> yet. But like, so how was it managing your studies and then working nights? I mean, and then becoming valedictorian. So it's like, did you even have time to do anything? No. So since I moved here alone, um, I don't really have anything else to do. Weekdays, I just study, study, study. And then Friday nights, Saturday night, go to work. I don't, I don't go anywhere. So the first time I ever, I ever went to the mall here was when I already was working. 
Oh wow! I yeah, no so leisure. You just kept no your leisure s- time for no me. No leisure time. Oh, no. Okay. And I was saying to myself, it's only one year anyway. Just fuck this and go. But the fruits of your labor are here now. Oh, okay. Yes. So now, okay, let's go to the husband. <laughs> how did you met? How did you meet? Sorry, rather, er- Eric. Right? Eric, yes. How did you meet Eric? How did that love story happen? So I was working in the home care, and he's also working there as a cook. Oh. So yeah, I met him there. So he cooks well. Oh yes, he's a very good cook. <laughs> <laughs> but how was like uh, the relationship? Because we have different cultures. Like, was there ever a time that cultures clashed? Um, at home now. Well, I guess he's he's understanding that we are totally from different culture. Like now, my mom's living with us. Oh wow! Yes, she's watching our baby. She he well he realized that even with a culture difference, we can still live with harmony. <laughs> But yeah, you're right. Um, Filipinos or most Asians are, like you know, close. we have extended yes. families. How did that resonate with Eric? I, I think for him, it's an advantage because like right now, like I said, my mom's watching our baby. So they see the value. It's, it's yes, it's it's very, um, how do you call this? Like he sees the, the importance of close family ties. Ties, yeah, I guess, yeah. yeah. I mean, it's hard here. You have to go to daycare and everything. Yes. But having family around is great. Yeah. Was there ever a time that you felt like, I'm going to go home? Like, is this, I know you mentioned it, but was there ever this time that you said, why am I doing this? Um, I guess it's only during the first weeks of adjustment. But after that, I feel like I totally fit in here. This is my place. This is your home. Yes, this is my home. What do you see is the difference between your life back home? Because you said you had a good life. Yeah. And like the life that you are having now or going through the process of having the life you have right now. What do you see is a difference? Um, well, back home, I'm living, I'm stable there, but I'm living with my parents. I'm very dependent on them. Like, you know, like. I wake up, food is ready. I come home, food, food is ready. <laughs> but here, I learned to be independent. Cook so, for yourself. Cook for, not just cook for myself. I have to buy the groceries <laughs> myself. <laughs> Even at 25, then yes. to learning. Yeah, yeah, it's totally different. <laughs> I think um, I think here, when, when they, the kids start university or something, they... Be independent, they, yeah. It, there's a good, not so good thing about that. But <laughs> we'll keep that to ourselves. But yeah. So there was never a time that you said you're gonna go home. No, no. I really feel like when I came here, everything fell into its perfect place. Place. Yeah. So what kind of work are you doing now? So now, um, since I, so I got an internship with JD Irving Limited. Wow. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah. So I got paid internship. That's why I quit home care. And then when I graduated, they hired me full time. So I'm wow. working with them now as an IT business analyst. Okay. Is it very near your job back home? Um, close, 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 yeah, because we're I'm I'm working for a consulting company, but I'm more on the business side. Now I'm in between the like I've moved to the technical, technical side. IT side. Oh, yeah. Okay, so are you enjoying your work, your life? I mean, how would you describe the life you have now? So I guess I can say I am living my dream. Really? So, yes, so I am describe happy. Describe this dream. This yeah, so, we're interested. We're excited. Yeah, so now I am married. I have our one-year-old baby girl. I'm working for JD Irving. It's a known New Brunswick company yeah. and an IT company, and I've been with them for about five years now. Wow. Yeah, and has it been that fast? Yes. Oh my <laughs> goodness! I still remember the time we were talking when we were new. Yeah. So it's like okay, living the life. So now, f- there's so many students coming in. I you know. see that from not just from the Philippines, but from elsewhere. Yes. What What advice can you give them when they're preparing to decide they want to go to Canada? Yeah. So it's not it's not easy. Like when you come here, it's not just you don't have to worry with just um, paying your tuition. You have to pay your rent, your food. So also like study, you, so New Brunswick, I don't know about other colleges, mm-hmm. but NBCC, our class starts from like 8, 8.30 to 4. So it's full days, yeah. um, Mondays to Fridays. Mm-hmm. So in terms of work, 
you can only work weekends or um, night times after study. You wow. really have to balance studying and doing your part-time jobs. Especially now, I don't think there's a limit. What yes, advice would you give now. to people who are like, sh of course, naturally worried about money, worried about some have families here. Yeah. Like what advice would you give to be able to balance that? Well, yeah, I know it's unlimited hours. Now, there was a reason why it was only 20 hours. Like Canada want, wants you to come here to study. Mm -hmm. That's why you can only work 20 hours because your main purpose is to study. But now it's unlimited. Still, um, just be sure that you know you're, you're still studying. doing you're still doing your purpose here because i know it's the easiest way to come here is via student visa but it's also um an edge for you once you graduate it's an edge that you have a canadian education mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. okay so i forgot to ask of all the provinces in canada <laughs> and of course i don't know about you i didn't know about that new brunswick existed <laughs> So why did you choose New Brunswick over, say, BC, over <laughs> Toronto, or Mon Quebec? So why New Brunswick? Well, I'm the same as you. I didn't know New Brunswick <laughs> existed. So um, when I s started looking into the student visa process, I don't know anyone in Canada anyway. You did everything by yourself? The, yes, by Research. myself. Research? Yeah, yeah. Wow. So I didn't know Great. anyone in Canada, so I don't have any preference for, okay. to, for a province. I just Googled. <laughs> the most affordable college for international wow. students. So yeah, that, that is the <laughs> qualification. Yes. yes. The most affordable college. Yeah. Oh, wow. So New Brunswick pops up. And, okay. Here we are. Here we are. As an, as an immigrant, you know, and now you're a Canadian citizen, is there anything that you fear most about being away from your home country? Is there anything that scares you? Um, hmm. well, I guess I didn't, I, so far, thankfully, I don't really experience any racism here. So I'm, I'm okay. Like, so never have you felt never, like, never, never felt, never felt like homesick okay. or because especially now we're lots of Filipino and my family's here now Their too. Like, yeah, here. my mom, my sisters, my brother. Oh. The whole family is here. Yes. So what happened there? I mean, it started with started you. Started with me. Alone, not knowing anyone. Yes. And now your mom's here. Your sister. Okay. Explain <laughs> to me the process of how the whole family is now yeah. in New Brunswick so, in Canada. So yeah, I started alone 2017, graduated 2018, 2019. I got my permanent residency. And in 2020, I asked my sister to come here. So she um, applied I guess living in New Brunswick stream. Oh, so wow. now she's here as a permanent resident. 2020, wow. 2021 came. So my sis, my youngest sister came here in a student visa. So now she's studying. She's studying two years. And just this summer, my brother and his wife came on a student visa. Wow. So the whole family is here. Yes. All because of you. Yes. I'm How? the one pro processing all their visas and <laughs> so. stuff. I know about the feeling, so we can both be uh, Im uh, immigration, immigration agents, consultants, yeah. yeah, consultants now. So how do they feel about that? I mean, I know you're happy yeah. because you've been able to bring them here, but like, yeah. how do they feel like being here with you and like the reaction that hey, my sister's there, I can yeah. go. So I didn't force them at all. Oh, th that's <laughs> it, good. It was their like idea, like they want to come. How? So, so I just help. How are they now? How are they living? Um, how? So the, my sister, who's a permanent resident, she's okay because she has you know a full time job because she's a Not permanent resident. Married. Not yet married. Soon. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully, I don't know. <laughs> the youngest sister is in the student visa. She's gonna graduate next year. Wow. So, still, uh, but she's um, doing a part time part-time job also where I used to work oh, in the home that's care. Good. Okay. Yeah. How does she feel about going through the steps that you're kind of group? Yeah, she's she oh she will complain that she's struggling, but then I always say, Well lucky you, you came here. I have you have me already. Yeah, exactly. And I exactly. came here just as me. <laughs> <laughs> and then your brother and his they're, wife. Yeah, they're are just they starting, so yeah. settling down? Settling down, yeah. But that's um, good. Yeah. His wife found a job full time, and him still trying to find a part time. So, if your family didn't go here, do you think you'd be happier or less happy? Or mm, 
it will st yeah you're, you're right it will be less happy because you know it, it will still not be complete i know i have my own family but i have They're my own family now line. but i still have a family back in philippines yeah, but now that they're here it's totally so what's the plan with mom she's going to be here because all her children are yeah here. yeah so i'm hoping <laughs> once um how you call it like expression of interest opens yeah. For PR, I'm gonna apply for her. But for now, she, she's an um, tourist, tourist visa. visa. Yeah. yeah, that's good. At least she can help care yes. for your baby. Yes. So, any last words to like people wanting to move? Like, what would you suggest they prepare for? They get ready for not just before coming here, but while here, because we have a lot of students watching, yeah. and some it's for some it's easy because they have the financials yeah. to do so, to be able to study. But like, what would you suggest they prepare for and be ready for when they're here? Yeah, so when you come here, mostly, most in most cases, you're really starting from scratch. So there's a very high chance that you'll be starting from, from zero, you know, from, from the bottom. So um, I guess, like I mentioned earlier, it's okay, just swallow your pride things will get better in time. And um, in terms of finances, like for students, same as me, you, we have to, to take out loan. I had to, to pay that loan for three years. Wow. And it's okay, it's all worth it. Yeah, yeah. for three years? Yes, yeah, three yeah, years. Because they had Even if I was a permanent resident here already, I had to pay that loan. My and I don't think some of the people don't realize that some people really go do that just to be able to yeah, start. Yeah, yeah. And I, I, I don't know, it's probably not just about having a better life, because you had a good life back home. It's some um, quality, yeah, it's better life, and that's, it's, I guess it's for your, you know, like for kids too. Yeah. Like you don't know, here I guess you can guarantee that quality of life is good, but yeah. back in the Philippines we don't really know. No, so it's more quality, not quality. necessarily financial gains it's no. more quality quality and yeah. for me i think one of the things was safety safety yes totally safety like too. i can have my boy go out of the house and yes. you know he's just there yes so i guess that's more so safety and the environment too you see it's like Different. there's not much traffic i can go to work <laughs> 30 minutes and I live very like 30, 30 kilometers away. Yeah, it's one minute per kilometer. Yes. Not like back <laughs> home. So is there anything that would you think, would you, be, would you go back to the Philippines or is this now your home? This is my home. This is totally my home. Um, now that my, my family is here, I don't even go visit there anymore. Oh yeah, you're right, because yeah. they're all here. Yeah, they're all here. So, so yeah, no, this is my home. Happy? Very happy here, yes. And I wish I could have seen, we could have brought your little baby girl oh, here. She'll be running around, you will not sure, be sitting. Sure. <laughs> so thank you, Charm. Thanks, Thanks for being with me today. I know it's not easy, the road you took, but really it's such a great example for people who are all face off face yeah. off face off face yeah. off not just i guess financially but i think the emotionally satisfaction is. there too like you know starting from scratch and here you are back and you were back able back, back. <laughs> yes I, I and i truly believe that good people will always find a way to rise oh thank you thank you for them. being here and with that ladies and gentlemen thank you for being with us today have a nice day and see you next week